I wanted to shoot a quick preview video of Music Player Remix, an app I'm developing on Android. So let me go ahead and start it up. So when I started develop developing Music Player Remix, I wanted to do something very different than what was out there um, on Android in all the music apps. And if you if you try out any of the, of the music apps on Android, and I've tried them all, I think, um, they all have very similar features um, as far as the design goes. And a lot of them um, may have a lot of features, a lot of uh, you know powerful features, um, but a lot of them are not easy to use. So I wanted to create a, an app that was both powerful and yet really easy and fun to use. Um, so let's start with the now playing screen, and that's really what the main focus of this video is going to be. I'm going to have some more videos um, as development continues with the app, but right now I'm going to focus on the now playing screen and the overall um, UI design of the app. So you'll notice the first thing is that you don't have any music controls, which usually are found down here um, on most music apps. And the thinking behind this is when you're holding this, um, this mobile device in your hand, you know, where is it the easiest to, to, to manipulate? Is right here, right in the middle with your thumb. And so I wanted the most common functions, which of course are playing and pausing your music and skipping tracks and going to the previous tracks, to be right around here. So what I do is the top half of your album art is pausing and playing your music. The bottom right is skipping tracks. Bottom left, going back. And so it's very easy to do. You don't have to extend your thumb, and it's very easy to do. So I wanted the most common functions to be right around here. Instead of having to display um, separate music controls. And the other benefit of doing that is I have more screen real estate to do other things. And I'll cover that in a, in a second. Now, of course, you have your scrubber bar. Um, the, so what is the, most, what is the next most common function that people use uh, on the now playing screen? I think it's the now playing list to see what is playing in the current playlist. So if you if you open up any other music app, most of the time you're going to find a little button up here to get to your now playing list. And if you're holding it with one hand, it's kind of hard. I'm kind of extending. I mean, it's it, you know it's doable, but especially when you have larger and larger devices, it's kind of hard to get up here. So what's the easiest thing to do? You just swipe up and anywhere from the bottom of the screen, you can swipe up and you have your now playing list. And you can scroll through it and it's easy to do. And another thing that I've found lacking in, in music apps is sometimes you want to scroll through a list, but sometimes what I like to do is when I'm listening to a playlist of some sort, I want to visually look through my playlist. So I could do that now and if I find a song I like, I can just tap it and go right to it. So it's really nice to have down there. Now you'll notice that there are arrows on each edge of the screen. I've already covered what the bottom one is. The right one is your music library. So instead of having a separate screen, wherever you are within the app, any screen within the app, not just the now playing screen, you're gonna have these three arrows. Oops, I just exited. And so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna swipe and you're gonna be able to open this up. You can also do it with the menu button if you have one on your device. And from here, you could do a shuffle all. You could do your songs, your albums, your artists, your genres, composers, uh, bookmarks. So I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but Music Player Remix is gonna have an extensive bookmarking feature. Discovery, again, I'm not gonna cover it here, but it's gonna be really cool. And my remix is very, very cool, but I'll talk about it in another video. Um, also, you have your help, preferences, search, so you can search your music library, and of course you can use your search button if you have one on your device, and aesthetic controls. So one thing I've noticed in music apps is, you know, a lot of them can be themed, so you can download themes for the, for the app store, um, but what I really liked, um, for me personally is is to just use wallpaper that I have on my device or that I find on the web. So this is the default uh, wallpaper right here and you can change it just by going here and customize. So let me find some good wallpaper. 
let's see what's a good one um oh this one's nice and there you go and i can also change the colors maybe i'll do a light green and there you go um i can also use the devices wallpaper so right now i have this and it's just coming through and then whenever i change the device's wallpaper um it'll automatically um change it on the device as well but i'll go ahead and go back to where i was i kind of liked um what i was at with the greed theme going and of course i could restore my default settings if i wanted to um, so that's the that's the main menu right here. It's very easy to use and like I said, it's available on every screen So if I'm let's say I'm browsing an album or an artist and I'm going through their albums I'm going through their songs and I want to you know start over Instead of having to hit a button up here and kind of traverse back through the system and going back 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 I can just go like this and go to wherever I want it to go um, the leftmost menu allows you to list your faves. So faves are something that you can do, you can add any song, album, artist, genre, playlist to the faves list. And right now I, I don't have any, but if I hit this little button right here, which is a little star, and you're gonna have that available next to, on any list as well, when you hit the more options button, you're gonna have an add to faves. And basically, you can add your 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 favorite artist albums, songs, genres here so that you have very easy access, oops, that you have very easy easy access from any screen. So wherever I am within the app, I could just swipe and get to my faves. Um, another thing I could do is swipe and get to my playlists. So these are standard playlists that I have saved on the device. Um, and then I could load up a playlist. So let's load up Mellow Songs for this. And there you go. Mellow songs. Um, let's see what else do I have. Oh, that's a good song. But anyways, um, also you have something called auto lists, and I, d I haven't set them up yet. But auto lists are going to be auto-generated playlists um, based upon your listening, um, your listening habits on the device. So your most played songs, your recent, recently added songs, um, and there's going to be a few other uh, interesting ones there. And there's probably going to be some ones that you're going to be able to set up yourself. But I'm going to be working on that. That hasn't been set up yet. Um, but anyways, so those are the three panels that you can um, cover. Um, another interesting feature is right here is the time remaining. I could tap that. And it'll show you either the time remaining or the total time. So that's an under, on the, another little itty bitty feature here. Um, the last thing that I wanted to talk about. Oh, let me show you landscape mode before that. So here's landscape mode. And so landscape mode is really designed around the wider screen. And again, you have your music controls. And you can skip between your music. Um, you, but you also have your options here, and that's the last thing I wanted to talk about. It, it kind of expands them so that they're a little bit larger and easier to um, manage. You also have your scrubber bar, and of course you have your um, three panels. Um, but anyways, let me talk about the options. So these preset options are things that you're going to most commonly use, that you're going to have one touch easy access to, and of course you have all the other options in, in the menu right here. But the first one is adding to playlists. So if I tap that, it's gonna provide me with a list of my playlists that I can add this song to. Um, the next is faves. When, that, when that's tapped, a pop-up's gonna come up and say, hey, do you wanna add the current song, um, the current song's album, the current song's artist, or the current song's genre to your faves list and add it right here. The next one is a bookmark. So that's gonna add a bookmark wherever you are within the song, and you can have multiple bookmarks within the song. And the way it's gonna work is if you have a bookmark, let's say here, and you have one here, when you hit next or previous, it's gonna go between bookmarks. So it's really nice for um, um, when you have um, podcasts or longer pieces such as audiobooks that you wanna listen to. Um, the, th the fourth one is lyrics and karaoke. And I'm gonna go into that in much more detail in a later video, but you're but to give you a preview, you're going to be able to view your lyrics, 
um, without having to download anything, any other plugins or anything. It's just going to pop up inst instantly. And you're going to be able to do a special karaoke slash remix mode. So I'm going to get into that much later, but it's going to be really cool. And it's going to be tied to this guy right here. And the fifth one is sharing. So when you share, you can notice it's talking about YouTube. It's going to come up with a share pop-up once it finds the YouTube video. Unless I'm having some kind of network issue. Well, it should come up with the share video, uh, the share pop-up. Um, we're still developing the app right now. Um, let's try the, another song, maybe. Let's see. Oh, that should have a video. There it is. And so what you can do is you can share your, your current song on any kind of social network or anywhere else. And I'll use one of my favorite apps, QuickPost, which is another app I've developed. And QuickPost um, just lets you um, choose multiple Twitter or Facebook accounts and send them all through there. So I'm going to send them to both of my Twitter accounts. And so I'm now playing Lucky by Jason Mraz on Music Player Remix. And it has the YouTube video posted there. So then when people... Um, my friends or the people following me on Twitter or Facebook see my post, they're going to be able to um, click on the YouTube video and watch the actual video. Um, let me see if it's there. Oops, that's a quick post. Let me open up Twitter. There it is. Oops, clicked on the wrong guy. And there it is. And I can just watch the YouTube video, which is kind of nice. There it is. So, but anyways, let me go back to um, Music Play Remix. And so those are your those are your main options. Now you have extra options, viewing the album, so you can go directly to the song's current album and browse it. Artist, you could download album art. You could find the song on YouTube. So let's do that right there. So I could directly go to the YouTube song right there, and find find the video. Um, I can also find remixes. So it's going to try to find a remix of Lucky, and there it is. I got a remix right here that I could listen to. Um, I could also find the artist. So if I just want to pull up all his videos. Um, I can edit or view the music tags of this song. I can remove this song from this particular playlist or this queue. And I can delete the song from the device. Now, I've tried to choose the ones that I think are the most important by putting these five presets up. But what if, oops, what if these are not the ones that you like? So what you do is, if you are not going to be sharing songs with people, just go ahead and long tap that, and you could choose a new item to put there. So let's say I, I'm really interested in YouTube videos. Now I've put the YouTube link right there. So if, I, I'm, if, if I'm not going to do bookmarks, I can go ahead and maybe view edit music tags. And now I have the link right there. And so when I tap that, then I can go right to the YouTube. So it allows me to customize the way this app works for me. And, it, and of course it shows up in landscape. And speaking of layouts, um, I'm going to be developing Music Player Remix on tablets as well and all different types of devices and trying to cater it um, to make use of that extra screen real estate, um, whether it be in landscape or, or portrait mode on those devices. So because um, definitely, you know, this can expand to a tablet, but it's not going to be as nice as, as if I use some of the screen real estate for other things. But anyways, those are the, re those are the preset options. And that's the now playing screen. Um, so I wanted to develop the app to really suit to your needs to have a lot of function and a lot of power um, with all these different options and all these different features that are going to be in here. But do it in a way that's easy to use. You know, so I can pull up my now playing pull up my library, pull up my phase and my playlist at Autolist, and it's really easy. Um, so thanks for watching. There's going to be new, uh, more videos coming. If you want to follow the um, progress of the app, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at, uh, at Music Remix App.
um, or Hidami, H-E-D-A-M-I. And um, again, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for Music Player Remix on Android.